this is Ryan with GameRoomSolutions.com. Uh, visit our website. I recently did a blog that does in-depth how-to step-by-step to what I'm going to show here. But essentially, what I want to show is how to use a seed box. So when you're downloading torrent files, you know whatever they are, you obviously don't want to bring the torrent files across your your local network to your house. So what a seed box allows you to do is download those files. Uh, to some other server somewhere else in the world and then it'll also share those so I use uh, ultraseedbox.com and you can see as you log in it's around ten dollars a month and, and for that I can upload up to two terabytes of a torrent file or multiple torrent files uh, to share back to the community or if I you know if you have some kind of private torrent site so you can keep your ratio and with that I also get 300 gigabytes that I can keep on there at any time so as torrent share I can delete them off save space and, and so forth that's a ton with that ten dollars though I also get a VPN connection so essentially it encrypts me connected to my server when I want to FTP files back down to me as opposed to just running the BitTorrent directly to me and then sharing it back up so uh, when you log in, this is what you're going to see. It's just a web interface. The other thing here is we'll go ahead and get a torrent file. So go out to the uh, Ubuntu site. And again, for torrent files, you can pretty much type in whatever you want to Google and put torrent behind it, and you'll see the torrent versions of them as opposed to the, the normal downloads. So if I hit download here, you can see I already downloaded a couple here, but it'll just download just the torrent file itself. Now within the Ultra Seedbox control panel, It'll have our uTorrent already built in. You'll just click that, and it'll bring you over to here. Um, if you push this picture of the world, uh, this is where you can add the file. You also can do this uh, with your mobile devices as well. But So I'll add that file there, add file. Um, the speed on this stuff is amazing. You really won't get to see it here because this is less than a gigabyte file, but there's some files that I've had big, there's like a hundred megabyte, not megabit, a hundred megabyte as I'm pulling those down. So you can see here even that gig took seconds and I got that thing downloaded. So now that's sitting out on my server, uh, it'll continue to share it back to that community. Uh, but again, it won't be using any of my local network. You know, across. So right now, that file is sitting out in the world somewhere on that Ultra Seedbox server. It's not at my house. So what I need to do to bring it to me, they include uh, a way for you to use OpenVPN, which is a free VPN connection. And essentially, VPN just means I'm going to have an encrypted tunnel between me and them, so nobody can snoop my traffic. So uh, it's really easy to set up. Again, in the setup guide, I go through exactly how to do that. But when I double click it here, you can see that it shows up in the system tray. I can right click it and say connect. Then it takes it three or four seconds to connect. It'll turn green, and that's how you know that you're connected here. And I'm in the US, but just to show this, if I go out to like a what's my IP address? You can see here it's showing that it's in Amsterdam because I'm actually connected out to that server. Okay, so with that, the FTP program I use is called Qt FTP, but you can use file, FileZilla or whatever. But uh, So in Qt FTP, you'll put in your Ultra Seedbox uh, FTP credentials. And when you do, it'll connect, and this is what you'll see. So the Open v VPN, that's where you go in and you'll pull in your... Uh, the certificate or whatever that you actually need to put in your open VPN folder so it automatically connects so as you guys saw there I didn't have to put in my username and password any of that kind of stuff everything will go to your files folder that you download I did a special one here just for this video called torrent video so if I double click that you'll see out there that there's my file now what's really nice about this cute FTP is I can I can essentially break a file up into eight different files and download them all at once to get the most of my internet connection as opposed to just pulling the one file. So if I right click and say download advanced multi-part and hit the eight parts, you'll see here it's going to start pulling it down and it's going to break it into parts. Uh, and then right here is my speed. And I've done like a 30 gigabyte file before and I literally got almost 750 megabits per second which is like 100 megabytes. So it's it's insane speed. My my home connection here is 100 megabits, what it's supposed to be. But as it breaks these things up, it'll give me the full, uh, full run through here. So you can see here it's bringing it down. This is uh, different times of the day. I'll get different speeds. But essentially that's it. It's it's pulling the file down. It'll be on my local desktop here. Uh, and I'm good to go. The the file here locally, since I'm doing the FTP protocol, 
it's not sharing back it's not doing any of that kind of stuff that file is actually still sitting out on my uh, on my ultra seed box server and I can go in there at any point in time and delete it you know once it's shared back at least uh, the full one percent or you know hundred percent of what it was or I can just delete it or or whatever I need to do but you can see as it goes along here it's speeding up so right now I'm at about 55 megabits a second and it'll just continue to slowly work up there uh, so again, go to GameRoomSolutions.com. I have a step-by-step -step on how to do all of this, including setting it up on your Android phone, so you can find a torrent file there and automatically add it to your Ultra Seed box. Um, there's a link here if you want to click and check those guys out. It seems to be a really good service so far from what I've used it. And again, the, the key part is you get the VPN with it for the 10 bucks a month. A lot of people charge 10 bucks a month just for the VPN. So... Um, it's just a way to, to, to download files and not have people looking into your business.